Hi, I'm Chris Borowski. I'm the expert manager in Smash Poland. Today, I would like to talk to you about one of our basic models, which is Samba 240. Samba 240 gives you 2 meter 40 centimeters of cut, which is 7 feet 10 inches in imperial units. This machine is dedicated for smaller operations up to 100 hectares, which is 250 acres. Like you can see, Samba is a side suspended machine attached to a tractor on the regular three point hookup. Before hooking up a machine to a tractor, first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that tractor lower link arms are level. Lower links can be adjusted if needed. So first, what we need to do to attach the machine to the tractor is to hook up lower links and the top link here. Samba 240 has adjustable lower link pins. So it means that you can slide them in, slide them out, put them from the other side to adapt to a various tractors. But after the adjustment, it is critical to secure the pin with this bolt here. The bolt needs to be secured with the jam nut. Okay, so the machine is hooked up to a, to a tractor's three-point hitch. Remember that the cutting height you can adjust with the, with the top link, with the top link here. Next step would be installing the PTO shaft. Remember that PTO shaft in most cases needs to be cut to a certain length. Detailed instruction how to do it you can find in operator's manual. So once we have the PTO installed, next step is to attach a hydraulics. Hydraulics needs to be plumbed into a floating section of the tractor. In order to control the headland stopper, we need to attach the cord. So the cord is tied, the rest of the rope we put to a tractor's cab. The next important uh, thing to set is the headstock height. Headstock height should be set for about 30 centimeters, which is a feet of the ground to the center of the lower link pin. Once the headstock height is set, then we need to connect the limiting chain to the frame of the tractor. So when we change the field, the headstock height is already set. You just lift your three point up, you change the field, and then when you get to another one, you just drop your three point, it will sit on the chain, and then there is no need of getting out of the cab to check the clearance. Samba 240, the same as other machines from the Samba range, uh, is equipped with the mechanical breakaway. So it means that in case of having any obstacle while cutting or having excessive amount of material, the machine would swing back. Then we need to stop, reverse, in order to reset mechanical breakaway. PTO shaft is equipped with the overrunning clutch. Samba machines are equipped with the hydraulic cylinder. This is a single acting cylinder which brings the machine to transport position. The drop speed of the machine can be adjusted with this 
set screw here. Ball valve can be shut once the machine is in transport position as additional safety. This particular machine, the same as all Samba mowers, are size suspended. It means that the cutting unit is suspended from the side, not centrally. Suspension is based on a coil spring here. So ground pressure can be adjusted by means of this spring bolt here. Extending the spring bolt will make the machine heavier. Retracting will make it lighter. So as it comes to the power transfer, it goes from the tractor via PTO shaft here, then through a belt gear here to the oil operating gearbox and to the cutting unit. This belt drive here is based on four V-belts. Tension of those V-belts needs to be checked frequently. To check the belt tension, we use this simple device here. All what we need to do is to control the gap between the plate here and the indicator. Please refer to the sticker, which will tell you about the distances. Just remember that new V-belts have a tendency uh, to stretch. So check the belt tensioning after first 20 hours or first cut. Like all Samash machines, this one is equipped with the oil operating gearbox as well. This gearbox, which drives the whole cutter bar, is a oil operating gearbox. It uses 80-way-90 uh, oil. Gearbox has a breather. Then you have a check plug and a drain plug. As a part of machine maintenance, you need to change the oil in the gearbox and grease all the grease points. We recommend to change the oil in the gearbox after first 50 hours, then after 500 hours, but at least once a year. As it comes to the grease points, all of them are marked with this decal here. All side suspended machines have a headland stopper. This system works during a headland turn. When you lift the machine up, it will limit the headland height of the machine. So there is no need of turning the machine off. Make sure that this mechanism works freely. So the last thing that we need to take care of is putting this protective canvas on the machine. So we put it on and then we secure it with straps from the underside. Lifted guards in Samba range can be lifted from both sides. For better access to the cutter bar when changing blades and so on. And the other thing is that we recommend to completely fold the front lifted guard because in some cases there may be a collision with the tractor window. So like I said, the other side can be lifted as well for better access to the cutting unit. As to the swath forming, uh, as standard, this machine has a metal swat guides. We have a single rubber or double rubber swat guides available as an optional equipment. Now we are going to put the machine to the transport position. In order to do it, we need to fold the lifted guard. And then we can go to the tractor and start lifting the machine. The other function of this headland limiter is that it works as a transport latch. 
So in order to put the machine to transport mode, we need to pull the cord and lift the transport latch up. Then we can fold the machine up to a transport position, making sure that the transport latch is fully engaged. So once we are done with our cutting and we got back to our yard, we want to put the machine into rest position. In order to do it, we need to disengage the transport latch first. So we are pulling the cord and then we hit our hydraulics and set the machine on the ground. So with this samba here, very important is to install this parking pin into that bar. In fact, this parking pin seems to be an issue because a lot of people forget about putting this parking pin in and then the design of the machine and the suspension assembly makes the headstock stay crooked. So putting this pin into the bar will prevent the spring from pulling and will keep the headstock level. So you won't have any problems with attaching the mower again. Thank you for your time. Remember that Samba range is dedicated to a smaller operations, up to 100 hectares, which is 250 uh, acres, no more than that. If you are cutting more than 250 acres per year, you should choose perfect cut cutter bar, which is our heavy duty cutting unit, which will hold up to your needs. And if you have any more questions or concerns in regards to the setup operation or use of Samba mowers, always refer to operator's manual or contact Samash directly. Thank you.